sweet baby Jesus. The day has come, the demo's out. The demo to the GOAT. The remake of the GOAT. Not the GOAT, but you know what I mean. The greatest game of all time. The most important video game of all time. We now have access to a demo. So we can feel what the game's gonna feel like when we play it on release day. Because who isn't getting this game on release day? You'd have to be crazy. Well, you know, have other responsibilities and stuff. <laughs> Seriously, the original Resident Evil 4 was a religious, magical experience. It was, it was, it was the coming of age for video games. It was on. Real. Nothing had been like it, nothing has been since, nothing's changed gaming the way Resident Evil 4 did. Resident Evil 4 shifted everything. And a lot of things I was not okay with at the time because Resident Evil 4 changed the concept of Resident Evil where it was survival horror into action horror. I know people like to call Resident Evil 4 survival horror game. It's not even close to a survival horror game. But something that I never, ever thought I would say is slowly but surely I realised that action horror is the best genre. <laughs> and it's not even close. You get the best of both worlds. You get the great gameplay that Resident Evil 4 has to offer. And you get horror. Now, in the original, it can be argued that the atmosphere takes a painful nosedive. Now let me make it clear in this demo, the atmosphere is through the roof. I'd say more so than the original. I would. The atmosphere is really, really on point. Very, very impressed with the atmosphere so far. That doesn't mean it won't take a nosedive later on in the game, but I'm just talking about the demo. The gameplay is tight. Tighter than RE2 or RE3 remakes I have recently just completed 2 and 3 so I have them fresh in my mind it is night and day better it is Leon feels more witty the animations are better the bullet impact on the guns way better the um something I was a little bit worried about Resident Evil 3 remake takes an action approach to Resident Evil in the RE engine, and I thought something about that game doesn't feel right compared to Remake 2. But Remake 2 works because of it being slow, and I was like, the gameplay, if you just try to like push this gameplay into this, it's not gonna work. Well, they didn't. They tightened it, they changed certain things. You've got a crouch button now, so it feels like you're playing like the Evil Within or something. But it, I, it, just little things have been changed. It has. Nitpick. Um, although you could argue it would make the game a lot easier. But I mean, that's what you used to do in the original. Look, when you shoot that guy in the head. It doesn't react the same way the original does. Where it's like a headshot. Means you can kick him. In this, it might not give you that prompt. And you've got to wait. You've got to wait until it, like the next time. Where it's like, oh, you've shot him right this time. Now you can kick them. It's a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. But that was like one of the only things that I could find that I was just kind of like. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Because it's kind of. It, it, it makes the combat more tense if you can't just manipulate it like that all the time. But at the same time I kind of like the idea that I know what I'm doing in RE4. So it's like. I don't know. The aiming of the gun doesn't feel as like kill zone if you will. You know when you like move the, the, the stick? That doesn't mean it's perfect, just so we're clear. It still feels a little bit wiggly, if you will. A little bit of a delay, like you move to aim across and the gun flails a bit, or the aim flails, and it's like, it's not one-to-one, -one. it's not like I've aimed and the reaction's there, you know what I mean? So obviously that's a bit... Uh, um, the graphics, sometimes it looks unreal. Other times, it looks really muddy. The textures look a bit weak. But that's nothing new to the RE engine. That's been plaguing the, the, the RE engine since RE7. Just sometimes when you're looking at the environment, it's like, whoa. The graphics are insane. That looks really good. And then you get up close and personal and you're like, 
Ooh, that's a bit ugly, isn't it? <laughs> this game, this demo, although I was already excited for Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil is just that franchise where it doesn't matter when it releases, how it releases, I'm there, day one, I'm on it. It's my franchise, it just it is the most important franchise, it just is. I'm even more hyped. <laughs> I didn't expect the demo to do that, but it did do that. It provided me with unlimited time. I was expecting this to be another one of those silly one shots. You know, where you're gonna make like 27 accounts just to keep playing it on console. I mean, I know on PC people will be like, "Well, on PC, you know, you can just like uh, hack it and get the, the time limit removed." I get it, but I'm on console, so this is what I get. So like, I was expecting to have to download it on the PS5, download it on the Xbox, and it was just like, "Fuck sick." But no, not this time. The chainsaw demo, as they call it, has unlimited time. It does. That means you can just keep messing about with it. Leon has death animations now, which you'll have seen in this video. Um, which, I mean, he did in the original, but like a lot of the times in these Resident Evil games, the remakes especially, just, it's like the camera cuts and it's like, what are you doing? But you're seeing him get impaled, you're seeing the thing go through his head. It's like, okay, it didn't look amazing or anything. You're not getting, like, Callisto Protocol or Dead Space vibes from it. But it's good enough where it's like, okay, I can work with that. The guns feel good. I like the fact that you've got a quick select with the guns. Um, the enemies are a little bit weird. Sometimes they're, like, really, really bull rush. Like, the first time I played a demo, I've been through it twice now, okay? The first time I went through, I didn't die once. Obviously, I deliberately died on this one, but, like... I still saw the death animations. I didn't die once, but I was like, I feel like the enemies aren't attacking me. They're not like bull rushing me. They just, I feel like it's too easy. And then when I did it on this, it, like a time, they were all over me, man. I was just like, what the fuck? They were ganging up on me. I'm just like, that's a bit weird. I don't know. I don't know what caused that. I don't know if the game thought I did better at that point, or I was going through the demo quicker than I was in the original playthrough, so it was thought I was better at the game, because we already know Resident Evil 4 is always hard, um, adjusting difficulty depending on your skill level. So it's like, as long as you're playing the game well, the game gets harder. If you're playing it dog shit, then it treats you like you're trash, and it'll treat you like a toddler, and it'll be like, okay, easy mode, activate without telling you. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I was getting cornered all... I mean, I, I didn't die. It's not like I couldn't get out of the situation, but there was a few times where I was like, fuck me, the chainsaw's gonna take my head off. Um, I'm still playing the demo. The de While I'm talking, doing this video, on the big screen is the game paused, because I'm gonna go back in, because if you die on this village section, you can just keep doing it. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep get going so far in it. I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. And I can't help it. The demo's better than most full release games. <laughs> Capcom removed the time limit because they know they've struck gold. They were like, we don't need a time limit, this fucking thing. People are gonna play this and they can play it a million times over and it still won't be enough. They want the full game. They know this game is unreal. I just saying some jank on the screen because this is the bit where I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. But there's like a window there, so I was like, I'll, I'll quickly jump through that and I'll be fine. But, oh my lord, I'm in love. <laughs> now listen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this game's better than the original. It's going to be better than the original. That's not how it works. Resident Evil 4 changed the landscape of gaming. It did. And this game, it's not going to be able to do that because what, what can it do? Play like the evil within. You know what I mean? It, it, it can't do any of that. But is it going to modernise Resident Evil 4? Is it going to give me another A-plus video game? Is it another like 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10 experience for a video game? Am I going to be blown away from start to finish? I think it will. I think it genuinely will deliver. I can't say this fucking it up. I can't. But I can never ever switch off what Resident Evil 4 originally did. I can't take that out of my brain. I was there day one searching for that game. I was like I needed that game it was sold out everywhere it took a, it took like a week or two and I finally got hold of a copy and I took it home and it was the greatest thing ever it was this game can never do that it's impossible but it can be 
an unreal video game and it can do justice to the original it'll never replace it for me it doesn't matter what happens I, I can't switch that nostalgia off it just can't be Resident Evil 4 is just so good it's aged like wine it's amazing and this game looks like it's gonna honor it and that's all I can ask for honestly doesn't look like they've cut any corners animations are good atmospheres through the roof of what we can tell the parry system I had a little bit of a mess around with it I'm gonna go back in and mess with that some more I don't know what else to say it's just it's ticking all the boxes I am I'm impressed I am thoroughly impressed this is I mean as long as I don't drop the ball is anything gonna top this for the game of the year in March damn they honestly the demos available to everyone pretty much PS4 PS5 Series X PC try it y you won't regret it all uh, uh, other than little, little nitpicks which I'm uh, what's the point I can't wait I really really can't wait that's all I got people get the just give the demo a try oh my lord it's it's amazing this game is gonna deliver all right people that's all I got I'll catch you later